Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, be sure to come back tomorrow. Sarah, guess where we're going? <laughs> Magic Kingdom. Not an Epcot resort. No, we have not. Or known. park. We have not been to Magic Kingdom since my birthday. Almost a month ago. That's absurd. Not a month. Like two weeks. Almost. I'm like nervous. Why? Like I feel like we're on vacation. <laughs> to start your play at the world's greatest playground, you gotta start at the Magic Kingdom Park. Sarah just said we have to talk about the situation. <laughs> but I'm not sure what the situation is. The situation is we're a, like just gonna make it to our first fast pass of the night. Haunted Mansion! Haunted Mansion! That's some pretty good fast pass tonight if I didn't say so myself. Hit it up! And um, it's raining and lots of people are going that way. And guess what? It's supposed to rain for the next two hours. <laughs> also, guess what? What? We don't care! We're hoping that it, according to the wait times and from what we're seeing, Magic Kingdom is pretty slow. Even before the rain. Even before the rain. So well, I'm hoping it rains for a solid hour of just like downpour. I'll get a bag for this camera and we'll just walk around drenched. And hopefully it'll clear the park out. If not, it's not looking bad anyway. No. This is Must Do Disney. Let's go. Whenever candlelights flicker, where the air is deathly still. For there to be one ride to welcome us back to the Magic Kingdom, I think that was the one for it. That was good. And I just always have to brag about my wife because she's the best and she's especially the best at Fast Passes. Fast Pass Plus makes Fast Pass even handier. Because we're about to walk right on to Peter Pan. And then if we time it right, walk right on shortly after onto Big Thunder grab potentially a fourth fast pass of the day to enjoy after fireworks. But that may be pushing it then again. You can also just see what the lines are like. Yeah. I'm gonna hit them off. Just in ride for a classic. Classic. Wait, wait a minute, you just, you just caught Stacy? Welcome to Must Do Disney. I'm your host, Stacy. Wait, aren't we? Are we staying in a resort this weekend for one night? And we're gonna watch Stacy? My tradition is always trying to look inside this monkey. My tradition. As always, for y'all, Mr. Smith. We were going in the Pirates of the Caribbean. Ooh, it was 25 minutes. I think we no. have the time, right? Yeah, we have time. We got time. So it's a great amount of time. And it's usually not as bad as yeah. it Yeah, it's a good feel. And it's starting to rain again, so. Bring your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat. Okay, we waited less than 20 minutes. But we did go in nooks and crannies we've never been before, but it was too dark to show. The key is to get off this and run as fast as we can to Big Thunder Mountain. Because we need to bump our magic bands to get our new fast passes before 9 o'clock because that's when the cutoff for the fast passes for the night. Oh, the forest. 
I wanna, I wanna find out where this map is, and I wanna go to all these places if they're even real. And I'm having like uh, flashbacks to my runs the past couple of weeks with these these bad boys. And I don't think they were these ones, but they look like that. They were no joke. Look at this cool place. But comment down below if you've ever gone into the pirate tree. I kind of want to do it even if it's just for myself or Sarah. Because even if we have a, when we have a baby super soon, I don't think it's appropriate to bring like an infant to the pirates so we can get them all, him or her all pirated up. So I can always do it though. For me, Sarah could do it for her. This opening right here always reminds me of Ecuador because my parents have like a, there's a strange story about my parents living in Ecuador for like a year. And a lot of houses in the area had these like openings in them. Passage to Frontierland. I hope it's not, but it may be the last ride of the night, but I, I'm confident that we will snag something. But we only have like five minutes to swipe our bands. Alright, we're in queue. Time to do the must do. Four minutes to nine. She's gonna try to go for it. Yeah. She's gonna try to make this amazing night even more amazing with a Splash Mountain Everything fast Everything else is out for the day. No. No, everything else but this. Okay, I'm gonna do some refreshing. Yeah. Be right back. It's been medically proven that Big Thunder Mountain can assist, assist in the passing of kidney stones. So, maybe it'll help me pass my cyst. <laughs> Big Thunder Mountain. Can you guess what fast has we scored? Look, it's Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain, Splash, Splash Mountain. Wow. Splash Mountain is a time-tested thrill seekers and fun seekers classic. I'm gonna ride that puppy. Planning. It always comes down to planning. Sarah got a 920, which means we were able to get in at 915, which is the exact same time Happily Ever After begins. So, we will see some fireworks from Splash Mountain. Then, we will run our little tails, like speeding he unicorns. Run, he means walk swiftly. Walk swiftly throughout everybody. But Splash Mountain keeps going down. So the goal is to go on People Mover after this, before park close, to really maximize this. I just elbowed Sarah three times. Super sorry. It's okay. But then that means that we'll have gone on a ride in every land. And if you didn't know, one major character character trait to Sarah, she's got some wicked OCD and loves fulfilling that one ride from every land. Here we go. Six lands of fantasy make up this imaginative place for kids of all ages. Fix. Oh. And Bravo. Oh, this is gonna be The ride is so full of water, I it's know. crazy. Right. Yeah. Torture. Torture. Usually you're on this side. <laughs> Don't you worry, Mr. Bluebird. I learned my lesson. The brown pack is where you were born, and the brown is where you're gonna stay. This is the most magical exit of Splash Mountain ever. Take it. Oh no. <laughs> you are so mean. <laughs> Ben 
that is the first time I've ever seen the finale from over here. Look at one side. It? Look at one side of my hair is wet. One side is shy. <laughs> You're lucky Ready for the people move on? I'm ready. We gotta get over there. We change by the way we live every day. Just look up and reach to the sky. Look how beautiful it is. And by the way, that's like our other counterparts over there. They're singing, dancing. Look at her. We come alive. All right, we are going to literally take a victory lap on the people mover. Nice, relaxing. Dark, smooth, shaky, shaky to cradle you to sleep kind of ride. I just realized because of that guest member, now I'm totally Disney bounding Alice. It's the black bow and the blonde hair. Wow. You put on your blonde hair today. I should have worn my teacups button. I was doing other attractions with my Zerg and Haunted but I have a bad tea party one. What was I thinking? Since it's our victory lap, we're just gonna relax. We're not gonna vlog it, sorry. I'll show you next time. We are home. Sarah's looking through the box of vegan snacks. We're gonna watch some New Girl. It is 11 o'clock. Feeling good, right? I'm looking for some chocolate. There might be something there. Chocolate espresso. Perfect. Tomorrow for sure. You fell asleep on the couch again. It's after 5 a.m. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>